Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel ICT Active Learners. Today I am here to explain Cambridge IGCSC ICT spreadsheet part of paper October November 2023 paper 31. So in this part they say that you are going to create a spreadsheet to calculate the income and expenditure of sanctuary of for one year. All currency value must be displayed in Tawara dollars to two decimal places. So open and examine the file N23 TGS chart CSV in your application. So here is the file. Then it says that save the spreadsheet with the name TGS underscore center number candidate number so i'm going to save this one as file save as browse and i'm going to save it as excel workbook tgs underscore as they mention here center number candidate number so center number is om000 underscore Candidate number is 9999. Click on save. Now, the next step is to place in the header left aligned your name, center number, and candidate number. So, file, print, then page setup, header, custom header. On left side, your name then your center number and your candidate number okay and then it says that you have to place right align the automated file name and path in the header so again custom header right side file name and path so you have to choose here insert the file name and here is the file path so file path and file click on ok click on ok and now just go to print preview to see if it appears or no yeah it appears at the top as i have a long file path you can make it shorter even as you can see it's a very long name of my folder that's why it's going uh, very away and it's a long address so in this case if this is the case you just need to make your uh, folder name shorter as you can see I have a folder name here this one and when I click on the path here so it's C and this all information is written then the file name as well that's why it is very long path I'll just close this one that's fine you can uh, arrange for yourself itself but now moving forward insert two new columns to the left right click now insert one and that's two insert it then it says insert in column a the text as shown and format the spreadsheet to look like this so you need to include the data so it's month month then we have here previous month then we have here the month name as it says January then we have February and now let me just select these two till December done make this one as text wrap as they mentioned and this should all be right align and click here as well to adjust all the fields accordingly then after we need to make this one shorter just like that these ones we have to merge them with a black background and text white color 
these ones to be merged as well till L. These ones till L and just like that and this one till G not H. So we need to select till G. Make them this one with the no fill just like that and we can just simply say like that so this is done then after we need to even merge these two lines together with the black background text is going to be white and merge the cells together text wrap or if it is not working just increase the size to 12 okay and just now yeah then after just simply click here so it will look like this then after the balance and the stuff yeah now everything is according to our requirement and we need to have actually center a line 16 point white on a solid black background so for c1 to g1 this one it should be 16 point as they said and should be yeah, right now it look like a sensor of aerial font and here also should be 16 aerial or calibri and this should be 16 as well yes so this is how it look like right now fine moving forward to the next step place in cell g4 a function to calculate the total income of month of january so in cell g4 equal to sum of starting from this one till this one the total and then place in cell l4 a function to calculate the total expenditure of the month of january so equal to sum and these three columns now uh, place in cell n4 a formula to calculate the profit of the month of january the profit is the total income minus the total expenditure of this month so we are just going to find out the profit in cell n4 which is equal to total minus the expenditure that's what we get now in the next step place in cell o4 a formula to show the balance at the end of january this is the balance from the previous month added to this month this month profit or loss so means equal to this one plus this one that's what you get and then after it says replicate the formula from step 11 till 14 to the each cell just like that done now apply appropriate formatting to all numerical data so to all numerical data you should select these ones and it says should be with two decimal places so i'm just selecting from here dollar any dollar tawara dollars with two decimal places as you can see now so right now we just need to uh, apply the conditional formatting to the value from n4 till n15 the one which contain the red the negative value should be red in the background and white text so select these ones now new rule cell contain only the value less than zero then format to fill with the red color with the font color white so this is done now 
take the screenshot of your rule, the one you created, just a screenshot like this. Click OK and click OK and now go to your evidence document and place this one into your previous evidence document as a new evidence for your Excel conditional formatting. This is done. Now you need to save your spreadsheet. So I will just click on save my spreadsheet and then just close this one. We don't need it right now. And then after it says that you need to print your spreadsheet showing formula. So in this case we need to click on formula show formula this is how it will look like and then after the row and column headings are disabled so format print page setup the row and column headings are disabled not checked and then after it says that the page orientation is landscape so page orientation is landscape okay now this is how it will look like and then all the content will display it and can be easily read so the content are fully visible and easy to read apart from one page or two page but they are easy to read now print your spreadsheet showing the values now so go back and show values now but this must be landscape with a single page format print so it's on a single page right now but right now as you can see some of them is in on the other page so in this case what you need to do is as they have already reduced the size of these ones according to our previous look yes this one should be reduced as well yeah and now try to click on print and see how it will look like still some of the columns are not here so go back page break preview and then include them into the printout then print and this is how it will look like and then it says that you need to show the column and heading labels are not displayed and in the previous case sorry it says it should be displayed so very simple page format sheet and just click here if you wanted to display if you don't want uncheck that's it now go back to the normal view and now it says the October donations were entered incorrectly so in October the donations were 42.10 donation in October was 42.10 so you just change it 42.10 so when you change this one correct this data and print the spreadsheet showing the value so then after you just simply print the spreadsheet showing the value as we have already changed the value and then again the same thing single landscape did not show the row and column heading and that's it and then you just need to print out your evidence document so that's all from the spreadsheet part of this paper hope you have learned something about the uh, excel functions and formulas so thanks for watching and please subscribe the channel for new videos and updates